This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFP. My name is Paul and we are always here in Vienna to record the 17th episode of this here podcast. And it is the 11th of January 2017. 2017, guys. Crazy. And I have a very, very, very special guest with me. The first true native speaker that i'm recording with in in austria sorry nelly if you're ever gonna listen to this but it is reginald barris though i will say uh, you say true native speaker I, I i'm from the states it's call it english if you want that's yes. like calling for Deutsch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah fair enough but thank you for doing this man yeah, thanks for having me yeah you 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 jumped into the deep end with me i i more I, than i expected yeah <laughs> i i i like I treated you like the, the the famous American celebrity that has crazy requests. You really did. You would hear yeah. to my writer way yeah, too like, far. Like somebody who requests only green M and M's in his in his. That would have his... been tame compared yeah. to what I requested. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you request for the listeners? Just tell us the story. Okay. You can. You are a storyteller. So tell well, the story. The thing is, like, I was just being an asshole. Like, you're like, what snacks do you want? And in my mind, I'm like, I want pizza. But I'm not going to say I want pizza because that's a ridiculous thing to ask for. That's way too much. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to just be over the top ridiculous right now. And you're like, what do you want for snacks? Do you have any preference? I said, caviar. And he's like, okay, cool, caviar, no big deal. Do you like to pair that with anything? I said, of course I do. I'm an elegant man. Yeah. Peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I wanted to ask what, what kind of delivery system you wanted for your uh, caviar peanut butter contraption. Yeah. Again, I'm an elegant man, so yeah. I just like to suck it out from under my fingernails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which are, in your case, comparatively a, a tool. It's a, it's a, it's a quite a lot. I, yeah. I, play classical guitar so like my right hand has very long fingernails yeah it's like a whole hand of coke nails yeah so, <laughs> so it's a quite a large palette for the party hand yeah party favor party yeah, that's favor, how i make friends party i got like five new friends every, yeah. time, every time i buy coke <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um and um so i I said I compromise and give it to you, serve it on crackers. Which, I guess, if you want to call it crackers classy, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, no, man. But like a ridiculous thing. Like, I came over, he gave me a bowl of popcorn, and I'm like, because um, I'm a degenerate. We were like, well, we didn't ready to watch this, and I'm just like drinking the beer he gave me and eating all the popcorn before we even start the previews. <laughs> yeah. And... Adam, I, you you it, slayed that, oh, that I, I, bag I, I of, went to town. Oh, yeah. it, I went to town on it like it was the first meal I've eaten in a month <laughs> for no reason. That's uh, why you made to get, went to the part, came here. Right? That's the only just, reason. Just I'm just like, like, I'm like empty free snacks. Out, yeah, empty out my pantry. <laughs> I'm like, I can eat. You say that sounds fantastic. <laughs> Uh, so I'm digging you through can the kernels, looking like maybe I can like suck the <laughs> yeah. suck the popcorn filling off of this one. And, and there's like, some extra salt in there, yeah, at least. That's that's water weight, all right. Yeah. And I won't die quite as quickly. Yeah. And you, being the gentleman you are, you're like, hold on, I've got something for you. Went to the kitchen, came back with a platter <laughs> with a, a weird pairing that I wasn't expecting, which was apples and cheese, which was. Surprisingly good. Yeah, Thank you right. for that. Uh, but that was kind of encircling the main entree, <laughs> so to speak, which was crackers smeared with peanut butter, chunky, and <laughs> caviar. <Yeah. laughs> and I didn't skimp real caviar, <laughs> guys. <was> ridiculous. <laughs> uh, it's not as good as you might think. Uh, you, know, you know, it sounds like a delicious treat. Yeah, you only taste it. Just, I, I can't eat it right now. But yeah. Yeah. You 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 said it was an acquired taste. It was it was better than actually it was better than you would think. Yeah, it wasn't great. Um, would you would you serve it like as a? Would uh, I eat it again? No, because <laughs> I'm no myself. serve it uh, like like at a like a if you have like a chef competition and you have no idea. 
honestly, when you say serve it, that, to, like I'm not the one eating it, I'll yeah. serve it anywhere. I don't care if it's a <laughs> chef competition, if it's my my granddaughter's birthday party, <laughs> three year old bird. I'll put it right next to the bouncy house. Like, I don't oh care, yeah, I'm not the one eating it. So sure, have fun with my mistakes. <laughs> Actually, it would be cheaper for a kid's birthday to serve that because you're gonna spend three hundred dollars on candy, on, on candy, children. and this you can spend fifty bucks and they're never gonna eat it. One, well, one, you know, terrible idea that you put crunchy food right by the <laughs> microphone because I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. Um, two. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just remove the crackers. Don't worry, because I still have these Glucksfischer, which look <laughs> a lot like warty dicks. <laughs> <laughs> you want to bring them to a show? I don't, yeah, just hey, guys, an STD truck I made. Here you go. <laughs> Visual aid. Glucksfischer sounds really like a euphemism for an STD. Like if you're, like your spam came out in tadpole size, you have Glucksfischer. Tadpoles aren't fish. <laughs> you know what I mean? Of the exasperation. Uh, ah, Reggie, <laughs> this is my podcast. Stop being a dick. <laughs> oh, oh my God! This is this is too much fun. We are gonna have to start with the episode because we watched. What did we watch, Reggie? Uh, Space Patrol: The Adventures of Space Patrol, which is a terrible no. subtitle. <laughs> no, no, it's Space Patrol: The Adventures of the Spaceship Orion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Still not that great. Yeah. But, uh, uh, but they're fantastic adventures. We forgot yeah. Fantastica. Fantastica. Oh, I have yeah. to edit that so hard. <laughs> Uh, so many people are gonna hate me for that blowout. Five people are gonna hate you. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm the number one Austrian centered English speaking podcast out there. Named FFPU. <laughs> I'm the number one. <laughs> There's a second FFPU out there in Bulgaria. They're really weird. <laughs> So yeah, uh, Space Patrol, the fantastic <laughs> adventures of the spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> Orion. Orion. Yes, number eight in this case. Oh, because they keep fucking it up. They, they yeah. Keep, they didn't blow it, man. Fuck. No, they didn't blow it up this time. What happened to your TV screen? Oh, that, that's fine. That's just the cable being an asshole. It's like hippie vision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way to enjoy it, man. Everything looks like it's fucking a Strawberry Fields Forever music video. <laughs> <laughs> that's a reference most of my viewership is not going to get. You guys don't know Strawberry Fields Forever? No, no, no. It's Austrians love the Beatles. They just don't have televisions. Oh, no, it's back to <laughs> fucking ghost. Again, it's a third world country. So <laughs> <laughs> that's a good visual gag for an audio podcast. <laughs> for the listeners, I just kissed Reggie. <laughs> Stick. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is going to be eight, <laughs> 80 minutes long. It's going to take as long as it took us to watch the. <laughs> 40 minute TV show. Nine, it was 60 minutes and it took you <laughs> one and a half hours because you yeah. put in so many breaks. Well, yeah. yeah. We, you couldn't follow was, the show. You brought me in on episode five. So there yeah. was like, so much shit where I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. But because the thing I don't know is, the TV in, the, in the early episodes, they don't, don't introduce shit either. But like, the thing is, like, some of those times you stopped it to be like, okay, they're on a spaceship. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> are they? Because like, it was not clear. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the opening scene was them you should have in the back windows, the windows above their head, were sharks floating <laughs> around outside. And it's like, a Space Patrol, Adventures of the Spaceship. Look at those sharks in the background. For no goddamn reason. Like this, I, the sharks are in sharks. my notes, all right? There were definitely sharks. There were, what do you like, scene number one, there were sharks. Really? Yes. Okay. okay. But that was the casino you said. Yes. Uh, yeah. Underwater, the underwater casino. casino. No, because Why most of confused? humanity on Earth lives underwater now. I wonder why I was confused. <laughs> it, it seems so logical when you say yeah. it like that. Yeah, they, they talked about it in that episode. You just missed it. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, let's move on to the, the first <laughs> point of the, of this here business. <laughs> Obnoxious sharks for no reason. <laughs> and that's blood. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that later. Um, 
when you say we're going to talk about the plot, you mean we're going to talk about what it would be like if this show had a plot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the absence of plot is also describing the plot, I guess. I don't know. It was by, that by, was a by, plot that by a outlining plot. all the uh, that 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 isn't. You show that what is. You are not Nietzsche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you couldn't call me an Ubermensch in any kind of way. Because I'm not driven at all. <laughs> Reggie takes a sip of the complimentary whiskey, which is today William Grant's Family Reserve Finest Scotch Whiskey. They are this not is paying you. This is not a product Why are you placement? giving out a free product placement? <laughs> Grant, uh, I know you did not pay us for this, and you probably don't <laughs> want to be related to anything Reggie's going to say. But uh, <laughs> Especially about his, his one thing where he said that he would f- <laughs> Which <one? laughs> fuck a mount of barley if it would... No, barley doesn't go what? into... I wanted to make a sexual assault joke on, 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 on a distillery, but the building itself, so that they wouldn't uh, want to spend the sponsors. That was the most outrageous things that I could think of. The building itself. Uh, it can't say uh, yeah, no. I, I, I think you nailed it, man. <laughs> I think that was... <laughs> <laughs> FFP episode done. 17. Now with 60% more laughter and 30% less jokes that land. <laughs> No, 60% more laughter and 100% less structure. Yes, yeah. please. <laughs> I just took one American who understands German to oh. take take apart my show. Oh, don't, don't worry. Americans, don't underestimate us. We can fuck anything up if you let us <laughs> yeah. get our hands on it. Yeah. Well. So, yes, plot. So, the plot of this episode is basically the sun gets warmer. It was called Battle Against the Sun? Or no. Battle over, a Battle Over the Sun? Um, the wait. Um, battle the for the for Sun. For the Sun, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, like Control for the Sun, yeah, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was... It was hard to follow at first because you had to like explain to me who the characters were and like the right. there was this, right. this military scientist conglomerate that was yeah. on Earth that was... There were no segues in this show. There were a lot of lacking segues where you would just be like, they'd be on a planet and then be in space and then be on the planet again. But now they're on Earth and yeah. now they're on a new planet. And they've never, re- there's not a lot of like explanation of what the fuck is going on. You just have to like recognize the background and be like, yes. oh, they're a fish. I guess they're in a casino again. Yeah. Which is a lot <laughs> to expect from a, a first time, first you, time watcher. Yeah, yeah but the, the, that. That means you came in with a fresh mind and that fresh mind was boggled like I don't know 90% of the time well okay so the plot the plot was that the space patrol was you know patrolling space and they were sent out on a mission very because, accurate I and mean that's what they do what they do they're yeah. very predictable people um, so they're going out to explore this explore this planetoid that's found in the solar system yes and it's a new one so they're like hey we should check it out and when they get there, when they get close to it, they're like, holy shit, there's vegetation on there. Because yeah. they see one leaf. Like, one leaf. Yeah. Laying on the ground. And it's not even like a living leaf. It's like autumn, yeah. and it's just a dead leaf on the ground. They're yeah. like, vegetation, let's yeah. go for and, it. And also, they walk out of the spaceship yeah. without any any uh, yeah. pressure as suits no, or anything. Not a goddamn change <laughs> Yeah, they're their like, tire. one leaf, there must be a... Fuck this. Yeah, like, they, they go down there, they just they land, they step out. No mask, no nothing. There's like one leaf... Also, it must be a vegetation doesn't need oxygen. Uh, to, yeah, to that's their, yeah, that's like, their. That's kind of the whole thing about plants. Yeah, that's like their the trash <laughs> product. <laughs> like, if there's vegetation, the one thing that you're sure of is that carbon monoxide yeah. that's down there. So, like, they they go there and like, well, we saw a plant, so clearly we don't need a pressurized suit because the atmosphere is going to be the same because we didn't even bother checking the barometrics. And then we're going to go down there. We don't need face masks and and. Air tanks because yeah. there are plants. The vegetation gravity give is us all apparently the, also yeah. the same. The vegetation is going to give us all the oxygen we need. Yeah, they go down there. It's a barren goddamn wasteland. <laughs> Imagine Mars with three plants. And yeah, not like and a lake. Not like a jungle. Like three house plants. Yeah. <laughs> 
bad house plants. Spread over the co- like a uh, uh, frat house a, house plants, a like one square foot plant horribly patch treated. Of earth. Yeah. Like the only liquid that they get is a frat boy puking in in the in the pot. But never fear, because these seventeen leaves combined on these t- these plants, yeah, provide enough oxygen for the entire atmosphere. They are power plants. Oh fuck you. <laughs> 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 Continue. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you are not. You are I'm very not, unashamed. No. no, I'm very happy about this because it just popped into my mind to say power plant. Ah, oh, Fukushima much. Um. So. Yeah, they they um discover uh, an alien looking. A uh, spaceship, right? No, okay, okay. You yeah. say alien looking. They thought it was an alien looking spaceship, but later on, we're on their ship again, and we see that this alien looking spaceship looks exactly like their own spaceship with like, a few is... weird bubbles added to it, like nah. somebody stapled <laughs> a, a bit of uh, office supply from Target to it. it. It looks like somebody left a fucking to do list on it, like a like a <laughs> fridge door, and that's the only difference. Okay. It, so yeah, they see that, and then these two. Humans who hear a goddamn other thing. Right? <laughs> Everybody in space speaks German. Okay? Yes. <laughs> I get that it's a German TV show, yeah. but everybody in space speaks German because yeah. you know German space exploration. It's yeah. a thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, the the, the 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 Earth is unified. There's the and jo- in, oh in my the German. God. That is the most German thing we could possibly <laughs> think of from the goddamn sixties. Yes. Of obviously by the, by the future, everyone's going to be speaking German, or else what was that whole war about? Yeah. <laughs> Of course, it was. it's it's the perfect language to communicate your feelings and commands. It's very effective. Also, one of the main characters was Russian. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tamara, yes. And coincidentally, uh, the the main main character yep. was American, uh, which I feel like they were just trying to like represent Berlin <laughs> at this point and all its occupation. But I loved so much that. The American, they're like, oh, we need to have an American. Let's represent that accent. Let's give him a funny accent to show that he's American. <laughs> yeah. So they chose Austrian for that character. Because yeah, how and can he you... said trottel in one scene, which means idiot in colloquial, colloquial yeah. Austrian. And that's hilarious. And like everybody else has like the most northern, posh like, yeah. German accents. And yes. He's like, Ernst <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dietmar Schoenherr doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. Like his character. Yeah. Meanwhile, the fucking Russian character speaks the most pristine Hochdeutsch I've yeah. ever heard. Yeah. They're like, yeah. how could no, you make her She's a classically trained yeah. actress. Yeah. yeah, but still, like, if she's a classically trained actress, she should know how to do accents. Like, no, she's ro- trained in robot. <laughs> ah, that was... Yeah. It was ridiculous casting. It was garbage casting. So yeah, they go out into space and everybody speaks German. Of course they do. Yeah. And then this quote unquote alien race, the, the potentially alien spaceship, um, they're out there, they see that spaceship, and then these two yeah. guys who are very human looking and very German with the exact same dialect yeah. stop yeah. them and they're like, hey, what's going on? They the only difference guns. is that their guns look slightly different. And they're wearing and, shiny suits. And, and they're, they're wearing shiny. space suits yeah. because they realize they're on a fucking yeah. foreign planet. Yeah, no, and they, were, and they <laughs> told them that they're scientists and I'm like, yep, 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 that makes sense. The technician is like, fuck it, I'm not <laughs> going, I'm going out without any... <laughs> That's why they should have a scientist on yeah. that fucking ship. A that's why. The, that's why the Star, Star Trek had fucking uh, 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 Leonard Nimoy as Spock, because he was the chief of scientist officer. I don't think Spock ever wore one of those shiny suits, though. Yeah, that that would have been dope. Yeah, fuck you, Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, uh. yeah, they have better suits, definitely. But, so yeah, like, and then these these two guys are like pulling a gun on one of the main characters and they're like who are you guys pointing guns at me and they're like we're scientists now get on the ground <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then we flash back to earth uh, again no transition so i nope. didn't know where we were at yeah but we're and they're they're talking about global climate change on earth yes and they're like oh so you're saying the sun's getting hotter and he's like yeah the sun's getting hotter he's like do you think it's an artificial heating of the sun? <laughs> <laughs> so the plot is someone somehow has artificially heated the sun yep. so that 
the outer planets in the solar system could become a paradise. Yes. Quote, unquote, so they can become a paradise? Yeah, <laughs> because that's how it works with Saturn. Yeah. Just because you have a, ga- a gas giant doesn't mean that you are magically transformed oh, no. into a it paradise. It has to be warmer. Yeah, that's the only reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Warmth is the, the only, only thing. reason Jupiter doesn't work as a viable planet yeah. is because... It has, like, what, 20 times, 22 times the gravity as Earth? You're going to uh, get squished if uh, you're up there. No, no just, it's too cold. <laughs> but it's not too cold to move there. Because, we, okay, this is, uh, I know it sounds very sporadic, this yeah. description of it, but welcome to the fucking 60s, because yeah. this is exactly how they presented yeah. it to us. We find out that there's been a... It's a forgotten colony yes. of of Germany, uh, the German oh, world. Oh, come on. They speak German. <laughs> <laughs> but they have non-German names sometimes. Sure. Like, uh, Chroma is not a German word. No, it's like, is it Latin? Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> really? Yeah, same really? thing. Same yeah. thing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you come at me with that angle? Sure. All right. There's a Latin basis in some German words. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah, so they, it was a forgotten colony that <laughs> left 500 years ago, yeah. yet their spaceships still look exactly the same. Microwaves don't look like they looked 20 years ago, but 500 years of space exploration, and this yeah. ship is going to look exactly the same. Also, they Microwave the same- was a very bad comparison, because they didn't change a lot they didn't change a lot but they still changed more than these spaceships oh that's true yeah yeah, yeah okay yeah if, if you're going that way yeah it's yeah. a okay. fantastic metaphor yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that metaphor slayed at a convention <laughs> so then their dialect is exactly the same mm-hmm. their style is exactly the same like they wear the same exact clothes same hairstyle same makeup it's this it's still just it's all East Germany okay it's, yeah <laughs> it's all Cindy from Matsan and uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys will understand that reference, but um, hey, obscure reference is one of our main themes, uh, I guess. It's an you, Austrian movie if, and if TV you, show yeah, podcast. If you don't know Cindy from Matsan, fuck you, Google it. Mm-hmm. Sure. Can I swear on your podcast? Yeah, sure. It's rated R <laughs> on iTunes. I say after I've asked, I swear, I don't even. Yeah. Know. More yeah, swear, would have more swear you. words than actual words at this point. Oh, that would have been so much editing. <laughs> we would bleep everything. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I don't have to bleep that. I, I feel like you should bleep every swear word. Just say, <laughs> FFP. <laughs> <laughs> Schnitzel. Schnitzel. Um, Google hoop. So. <laughs> yes. So, so they, they heat up the yeah. earth and. So they can make it a paradise. Yes. Yeah. The other planets. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and they find out that the radiation comes... After interrogating the two scientists, they know that that it comes from that planet that was abandoned during the last uh, civil war, which the Galactic Collective fought against each rebel... uh, Just rebels, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Reggie is silently applauding it right now for right. this amazingly written Reggie's plot point. Reggie's silently masturbating to how beautiful that storyline is. It is quite fascinating. God, it's terrible. <laughs> oh, that's such a bad show. Like I get, like for the sixties, sure, I'm sure it was groundbreaking. Yeah, Honestly, and it was so expensive to make that they quit after one season oh, because. Really? The ratings were actually really good. I mean, quite honestly, it's probably on par with Star Trek. Yeah. I mean, like, as much as I'm making fun of it, like, yeah, 60s Star Trek yeah. wasn't great either. Nope. Yeah, and you have Kirk being way more rapey. Uh, barely possible. This dude was such a seductor. <laughs> like, uh, like, it, was, it, was, it was insane. The man, you, mean, you mean Cliff? Cliff McLean? Yeah, Cliff McLean. Cliff yeah. Alistair McLean is his full name. The uh, Austrian American <laughs> yeah. uh, might as well have been Schwarzenegger playing this character, <laughs> uh, but not like hey, not, not like thirty them. years. Hey, we are we are at the point we could make a remake where he could play an aging Cliff Alistair no, McLean. Like 
the Cliff Alice claim, if it was going to be Schwarzenegger, it wouldn't be like 70s Schwarzenegger, all big and muscular, yeah. but still with like a fucking Tyrannosaurus accent. <laughs> no, it would be fucking... Tyrannosaurus accent! It would be 2011. Yeah, I applaud you for that, but that, that's a, that's a that's It would a be 2011 one. Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's yeah. fucking like, body's deteriorating, but somehow he still manages to fucking seduce all the maids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he has all that kindergarten cop money r- lying yeah. around. Yeah. That's a Bill Burr joke that I just stole. <clears throat> way to cite your plagiarism. Let me <laughs> it's an interesting way to do a no, it's, it's, page. it's called a quote in that case. Not when you say stole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I mistranslated from the German. <laughs> Have to think of synonym that could be mistranslated as stealing. Nope, I just know there aren't any. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, yeah. So they go to the, they go to this Chroma, which is the name of yeah. the planet that's been artificially on a on a, the sun. on a on a secret mission because the 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 Germans in that the case, Germans the Germans. Germans the Germans yeah the Germans decided that they would preemptively strike against Chroma. Why have you not done this whole fucking podcast in that accent? Uh, <laughs> I have to still wait for a special occasion. All right. So they go to coma. <laughs> they go to coma, and um, it's they get there, and it's such a fucking. I, at this point, it's cliche. Maybe at this point, it was groundbreaking for them because it was the '60s. But it was like essentially the Amazon planet. The oh yeah, sorry. It was essentially the Amazon planet where it's dominated by women. Yeah. And the men take menial tasks. Yeah. So they go there, but and, they also enjoy. A very luscious lifestyle. Just, and, no, only and, men like and the captain. And get laid. Only men like John McClane. Okay? Yeah. Men of you John McClane? Uh, <laughs> he'd, he'd be getting some puss too, don't yeah. worry. Uh, Yippee-ki-yay, Orion. <laughs> oh, that sounded way too close to Oriental. Oh. Um, it was the 80s. It was not the 80s. <laughs> if that was the 80s I take back everything I'm about no, to say about their no, great no, cinematography no, oh okay <laughs> I got that you're talking about this I'm like, like the cinematography is good for the 60s uh, if it's for the 80s uh, it makes sense to me because it's in black and white still yeah but and, we're, yeah. we're going we're to that yeah. yeah but um, I'll say that to the plot they get there they're talking to this woman and they're like he, she's like we've blah 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 it's a paradise and they're like well what about whatever and it's like well what are the men and I don't remember the exact word yeah. but the topic of men came up it's like well what do the men do and he looks over and there's just two men with a fucking hoe yeah. and a rake gardening and with sexual with... clothing but, no it wasn't, it wasn't it was like plaid it... and a fucking sombrero like, yeah it was... but it was like the, it was just like a tank top a very loose tank top that a hipster would wear right now I think you're just a little too horned up alright yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah I was not I was not seduced at all <laughs> and they were they were like even flexing and their muscles with all that backhoe in they're doing mm. and I still I got nothing in my loins but my point is like so they said like he's like so the men have to be gardeners and like or technica uh, yeah or technicians <laughs> yeah and then it went from like then he was they were explaining like this is a paradise and you know we wanted to heat it up because it should be a paradise that being said they colonized this planet 500 years ago and they're just now <laughs> making it warm enough to be a paradise yeah. which if you're colonizing a planet why would you ever come to a place and be like oh my god this place is maybe way the, too cold maybe all the other places were taken then maybe you should go back to earth all right what are you the fucking pilgrims yeah that's not the mayflower okay <laughs> That's one of the thing plot points that after the second rebellion, mm-hmm. all the co- rebellion, uh, rebelling, um, the rebel forces, yeah, were uh, relocated to oh, uh, Earth. Oh, to German, Earth. Reco- German to Earth. relocation yeah. in the sixties. To Earth. You guys did not, not you guys, I guess, but <laughs> well, kind of. Whoever made the end, kind of. sure. I guess it's not like stray too far into the imagination of what the future would look like. It's just like it's a lot of just a lot of relocation and uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a hassle, but uh, it's and gonna de- be worth it. Definitely, the Russians and the Germans have a very strong role in our yeah, proceedings. Yeah, yeah, commanded by an American, but that's fine. But it's fine because his superior is German will, again. He will die of HIV. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Um, 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 oh, I actually forgot to mention this is also again 
for um, Ron Patolio in like in the vein of it uh, yeah. drunk episode so cheers to you man yeah yeah how do you enjoy that whiskey uh, it's doing it's it's doing its job yeah yeah and, uh, I think so too that's the important but what are you saying what are you you dumb <laughs> you're, you're drunk the... over here yeah <laughs> then I'm professional yeah you think I'm slurring no 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 I'm not slurring <laughs> no no Your ears Screw are just, you, guy. Your ears are too drunk. <laughs> okay. Go, um, so um, they send Cliff, and Cliff tries to convince the women of the planet to... Oh, and no, in the, uh, in the uh, end titles, because you left, I, I, um, the, the main, the chef, the boss, yeah, yeah. the female boss of the planet, <laughs> she's billed as C. The letter. S-E-I. Uh, S-I-E. Z. Yeah. She's just Z. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's all they ever referred to her yeah. as. It's just yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. No, in that case, the female version. Oh, oh lowercase. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> This is so fucking 60s Germany. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah the main main boss female is just called How do you know that's her female, for sure? I guess. How do you know that's her for sure? I, do you recognize the actress's name? I can't imagine you do. Oh, no, 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 no. The, she, oh, she, I showed her picture. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's... Just, Oh, yeah. that's embarrassing. Because here's the thing about this character. That and she gets top billing because she is the main antagonist. Right. But here's her, her antagony is what she did. It, it, it's, it was one of the most misogynistic things I've ever seen. No. That's, not <laughs> that's um, an but overstatement. It, but it was, it was quite yeah, indicative it, of an era. Yeah. yeah. Because, oh, yes. Oh, because, yes. Because what, what the whole concept in itself was very uh, yes. indicative of an era. One that really got me is after... Like, because she was explaining that, you know, 500 years ago, they colonized a planet that was too cold and waited 500 years before they decided to warm it up. Uh, Because said, they didn't have the, the technology. Yeah, they were like, let's make it. Technology. Yeah, they didn't have the technology to look for another planet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Which uh, did, did not and on they an had spaceships, yeah. but fuck it. They did not have the technology to not build a hut on an iceberg. Apparently. So they, they warm it up and he was like, yeah, but our, our planet's getting too hot and it might kill us. And she's like, I didn't know that. And then, like, mm -hmm. almost the next sentence out of her mouth is, but wouldn't it be better for a peaceful planet to keep living than for a, a, a war, warmongering. warmongering country to die out? Yeah. Which means that this whole, like, we're a peaceful paradise yeah. at the expense of millions of lives, if not billions, billions. of lives. Billions, billions of lives. I don't billions. know how many people were there, but, like, billions of lives can die so that we can continue to be yeah. peaceful. That's not peace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, wrote, I wrote something similar down. But, yeah, it was... It was It was one of the most stupid things ever. <laughs> And apparently, Mr. McLean also thought it was stupid because he started doing his yelling, which yeah. the, the performance was. The performances were so terrible in this. There was oh always, come on, it was the 60s. But yeah. The thing is, like, there was always a sense of urgency It's, in the plot. Like, yeah. But they would never run. They would or never run. Sprint. Like, they'd be like, "Oh no, our friend's been captured. Let's casually walk <laughs> over there." No, a but, stroll. <laughs> it was a stroll. It was a leisurely stroll. Yeah. But they would say grave words. Yeah. In a very like deadpan yeah like Stephen Wright is less deadpan than these guys yeah. were uh, it, it, it was they, there was no sense of urgency when it was appropriate and it almost felt to me as if they were like look it wasn't that long ago since we expressed a little too much emotion and look what happened yeah. out of that yeah, yeah, yeah. Hitler got up there and he was just like na 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 and they were like and then we can't have that again we can't express ourselves and then the moment that fucking McLean McLean McLean, <laughs> McLean, McLean. Um, <laughs> Expressed emotion. Is he the son of, of uh, Mr. Know. Clean? I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Propo. Uh, so <laughs> But uh, the moment he expressed anger, which was at this woman, he sounded so much like Hitler. He's like, <laughs> no, blah, 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 blah. and then she just hey, like, Austrians sounded yeah. like, yeah, Ned, Ned for <laughs> And then, like, she, the the antagonist, uh, she just yeah. <laughs> looked at him. Walked calmly over to the couch, sat down, and said, "Speak further." Yeah. <laughs> Cut to now no, they're in was, the bathroom for was, no yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that cutaway was amazing <laughs> because they changed location during the talks for like four four times. The last one There's is in lot. the cell. Yeah, so they get captured. Like officially, because the Earth is trying to do a preemptive mm -hmm. strike on the planet <coughs> to destroy the, the the machinery that powers mm -hmm. the 
wave, I guess. Sure. They never, they never explained how it Let's really works. Let's pretend it makes sense. The weird thing is, they had like gizmos and devices in the previous episodes that they explained what they did and how they did it. And this time, yeah, it, we're gonna go to that point uh, later on, yeah. but it's weird. Anyways, I like how uh, we're yeah, still in so, point one so, of plot. So, so <laughs> all the action happens off screen. Nobody battles because she tries to be calm and and actually calls for peace in terms of the experiment. That's the thing. Like she is the dominating force of a of a female ruled planet. Like, yes. The planet, like she is like the yeah the, matriarchy. The, it's a matriarchy. It's she's like the head mistress. She's the boss head bitch. Mistress. She's the boss bitch. <laughs> And he yeah. comes there, and she's like telling him, like, "Hey, we have figured out how to have a maintain a peaceful planet. We are not these war hungry, power hungry people. We can have a paradise. Yeah, and live but in peace. we can create. And then eradicate. the moment he says anything, she's like, "Hey, you want to fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> and then she just becomes like a fucking like she's like this huge like powerful force. Yeah. leading an entire planet. But the moment fucking Cliff McLean, the American <laughs> Austrian, comes there, she's just like, "Oh no, okay, hey, you want to? I don't. Let's talk about it more, Mister Sir, because I don't know how to Mister Man Mail." And then let, let's call him Cam. Why Cam? Cliff Alistair McLean. Or a camel. Without the camel. Alright. As his abbreviation. I'm going to sit down on the couch and say, tell me more. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like an abbrief. Abbreviation. Yeah. Yeah. A brief. It's so the abbreviation. No, I got you. No, yeah. no. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, it pains you how I butcher the English language. Oh. I slaughter it in front of you. Again, like a American sacrifice of this, this is an atrocity. Yeah. <laughs> a German atrocity. <laughs> we, are, we, are, we, are, <laughs> we were genetically designed for that. You're not German. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, let's continue. So they call off the whole thing, and the conclusion is... That oh, Cliff, we should say, we yeah, because you were like, you're like, this show is so progressive. They have two female main <laughs> characters, and neither of them yeah. is, a, is a love interest. I'm like, oh, they're so progressive for the yes. '60s. Yeah. And then by the end of the episode, fucking his his one of the main characters, who's one of his crewmates, yeah. comes to, to save him, and then he tells her like, oh, there was this this matriarch here, and she, they're like, oh, okay, let's go. And he's like, she's like, stop. Is she pretty? He's like, yeah, what? yeah. What? He's like, I need to know. Is she, is she pretty? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. We can keep going. You'll see for yourself. No, the reason I asked is because I need to kiss you right now. Like, yeah. <laughs> it was so fucking garbage. And then, of course, while she's kissing him, she kisses him for a second. She pulls back and she's like, okay, I've calmed myself now. He's like, calmed yourself? Yes, because you're just an average kisser. Yeah, He's that's like, not bad. I'm an average kisser. <laughs> I'll show you average kiss. Kisses her again. And, of course, now she, the main antagonist, comes in and says, oh, so I see you are kissing her now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I see you enjoying your last minutes on this planet before uh, it is destroyed by your own forces. That's stupid. <laughs> you could call this irony. That's stupid. But this is German, so we don't know what that is. Um, Keep going. Yeah, the whole thing, episode is ironic. The whole episode is not ironic, which is unfortunate. <laughs> it's very well, episode was very intentional yeah. okay and the conclusion is that for the peace talks cliff has to stay back and negotiate with sure sure he, she her sure basically the condition is look i know our, our planet is a functional paradise and it's been so it's been a matriarchal functional paradise yeah. where we live in isolation by ourselves and really are fucking we're killing it right now yeah but i'm willing to throw the way, Mr. McLean, if you just give me some dickin' for a few minutes, and I will, <laughs> yeah. I will let us go back to living in yeah. a goddamn igloo. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, oh, the it, 60s. Yeah. Oh, the 60s. So, we are finished with plot. plot. And it only took us Finally. a half hour. Uh, it only took us 50, no, no, 40, 45 minutes. About five minutes. I mean, we had least, I think we had probably fifteen minutes before we started. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But still, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> we're going long. That was a long conversation for such a non-existent plot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe again, shading out everything that yeah. isn't there. If they just had a plot, we could have said it in ten sentences. But <laughs> because there was nothing, we had to cover every other aspect of like. Yeah. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't cheese. I'll tell you that yeah. for sure. Yes, uh. it was very. 
professionally I'll you, made. I'll tell you what it wasn't. It wasn't a biopic about M- Nelson Mandela. It yeah. definitely was not that. <laughs> yes, it was quite the opposite. If there is a natural opposite to that, it is this. It's Germans in space. Yeah. <laughs> Germans in space and they're not Nazis. How is this possible? I would have assumed that's the only reason Germans would relocate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> We know the plot. I think of, that's the civil war they were talking about. Yeah, we know this plot of Iron Sky. Um, so let's move on to the next point of this here podcast that's going to be so long, and that is uh, cinematography. Oh, this will be a short section. Yeah, it will, it will be hopefully. So. What did you think? Well, well, how, how did you like it? Again, assuming... Do you know for sure when it was... You have the DVDs right, the box right there, right? When is uh, it? No, that's not it. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to grab it. You just keep talking about yeah. the cinematography. Uh, I'm saying, like, for the time that I'm assuming it is, because I'm assuming it's the 60s, it actually seems pretty decent. Like, if you can imagine Star Trek, it's about on par with that. Uh, the initial Star Trek, not, uh, not the bald guy version. But, like, the one with Kirk, it was very much where you have... In like Star Wars as well, where you have like kind of um, these plastic miniatures to, to represent yeah. things and yeah, the, modeling yeah yeah uh, and for that it it did it pretty well for the era that I'm assuming it is. You see copyright on here. Um, it's 1966. Oh, you, you knew that and yeah. let me keep floundering. <laughs> you went and got a box set for no reason, just so you look at the faces again oh, and, yeah. and remember all of them and everything, and the cinematography and the special effects and everything. So yeah, for, I, for the I, 60s, it was it was actually quite decent. Yeah, I actually enjoy really enjoy the blue screen. No, probably back then green Whatever screen. Whatever color blue, it was. Yeah, yeah, blue or green screen effects. Those are amazingly done. I think it was it was surprisingly well done for the era. Like it was uh, quite honestly, like as much as I'm making fun of it. Yeah. Star, I don't know if I said this on on era or just to you personally, yeah. but I do think like it was at least on par with Star Trek. Just in black and white. That's the but only the, main difference. I, I think the initial Star Trek was also in black and white. Wasn't no, no, no. It? Never. It was, no, it was all in color. Really? Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. like I've seen episodes in black and white. But maybe not. But it, maybe uh, in your redneck neighborhood. I don't know. Where they yeah, only maybe have on my, black and white TVs. My, uh, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> maybe on my Austrian television because I'm living in a third world country. Um, <laughs> oh no, we love it. We love it. The saturated. A year ago, I went to a Zatun and I saw yeah. a VHS cleaner tape. Nice. Third world nice. country. <laughs> <laughs> well, you went to Saturn. That was your first mistake. It's not. It shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. VHS cleaner tape. Yeah, well, <laughs> there are security uh, systems still out there that use VHS, like closed circuit yeah, systems. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, ha! They should stop. Knowledge, you out, son. No, sure. You know more than me. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah I'm older than you. I also have <laughs> Which no is job. so weird. Like I have no qual. That's not weird. <laughs> I- I'm a young chicken. All right, my life is still ahead of me. <laughs> Yeah, like half. Half ahead of me? You expect me to live to less than like to like fifty <laughs> is where I'm that's my life expectancy. Yeah, I'm being a dick right you're, now. You're drastically overestimating how long I will my my mistakes will kill me far before that. Okay, uh, cool. The point so, is uh cinematography. Cinematography. For the sixties it was quite good. I would say it was on par with what you would expect from Star Trek or yeah. anything of that era. Because they didn't use beaming because uh, instead they had actual landing sequences and you everything. Know, they, also, they, did, <laughs> they, they also have a, a plot point where the aliens are invisible so yeah. they don't so they can solve that with their cinematography. Yeah. So yeah. like they do use workarounds yeah, yeah. where like oh, yeah. if they had to do Oh, a, like, you a, haven't seen the robots. I have not. Oh yeah, the robots are amazing. I don't believe that's true, to be honest. <laughs> uh, Listen to a previous episode. Listen to a previous. How about show me what the robots look like? <laughs> you haven't done any. You haven't done an F F F F. Ah. You haven't done an F F P U episode about this show yet, have you? Oh no! Yes, I did. Oh, that, so you're just doing like. Four episodes. You're fucking serial? <laughs> Wait, every episode you've seen so far yeah. has been on FFPU. I watched, you're still when, f- when I was 14, I watched the first two ones, two episodes, and since then I didn't. Or 18. But then, like, so. the last four episodes of the FFPU have been this show. No, 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 no. It's the 7th, 16th, 17th episode? Yeah, 17th. Yeah, yeah, so... 
der, der strewn in there. This is taking up way too much of your life. <lacht> like, I thought we were breaking ground right now with our exploration of this terrible show. Oh no, you uh, are taking a whole new angle. <lacht> you're the first you're one. You're the first one to not like it. <lacht> you're the first one who is actually generally getting pissed about the show. <lacht> everybody else is, ooh, it's cheesy and funny. Oh, That's because everybody else grew 60s. up with this. Is like this is their standard. It was either this or Eurovision Song Contest. <lacht> Nice European <laughs> burn. Nice, nice. Yeah, but basically that was the end of him out there. Um, so, <clears throat> I think we're finished with cinematography. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done here. Yeah. Let's move on to sounds. Right. You want to start or am I starting? Go ahead. What, what do you think of... The music. Well, for the most part, the sound design was like, yeah. like the individual sound of actually the sound design in itself, not the score. The sound design was quite non-existent. Uh, that's not fair because they did have like this kind of like background hum that made you feel. Yeah. Which I assume was not just a technical mistake at that time. It was no, an no. intentional. They yeah, the eerie kind of like, machinery like, that kind of always like that, like, hums. Kind of like that white noise in the background yeah. that sounds like you're like in space. Yeah. So like they did add that, but it didn't. Star Trek did that too. I assume. I don't know. Like, yeah. I, I just I just mean like I assume that's an intentional thing and not a an artifact of the the yeah technology they had at it's the time. It's still the source material. Just for reference, is mono. It's what mono. Mon like mono, mono. Not yeah. as, as opposed to a stereo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they only had one track to work with from the beginning mm -hmm. because they couldn't afford, afford stereo equipment back then because they didn't broadcast stereo equipment stereo well, at that but point. But they had but they had multiple tracks within that mono. Yeah. Yeah. Signal. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, because if they were like <laughs> one track acting and they're yeah. playing the song in the background, it's like no, 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 because it was it was the music that they played was very like sixties. Uh, Esque, like go go dancing, yes. James yes. Bond. Like it made what was the word, word I used? Um, oh yeah, it felt like mo like anytime they played the music, it sounded like you were in a space casino. Yes, like it, yes. Like all the music was like a dun, very like seventies casino or sixties yeah. casino go go dancing. Yeah, just thing. Google it. It's on YouTube and everything. Yeah. The whole soundtrack. It is quite a good listen, just on its own. It, it's it's. It's if, entertaining. If that's what you're looking for like I I wouldn't choose to listen to it as like oh this is the kind of music I want to listen to. Yeah, but it does. Portray an era very good, yeah. very well, and it's, it's party music. It's well done for what it. If you want music from that yeah. era, era in that vein, yeah. it's a perfect example. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, but they did have this weird like squeaky flute, free jazz yeah. section, like like thirty five minutes into it. Yeah, like, sure, like, we're just like it was very like I'm like what I don't yeah. know why there's because it was so atmospheric, it was so like quiet in the background. And yeah, it was just almost like this like. Uh, have you seen what was it called? Um, Birdman is that what it's called? The movie yeah. that won the yeah. It was like Birdman where it's like like the jazz drums happening all the time. Yeah. It, it was a much more simplified version of that, but it was something that just made like equally little sense. Yeah, with a, like a squeaky flute, like it was trying to be like a horror movie, yeah. atonal stuff. But it was it wasn't bad. But a lot of it was this kind of uh, just that white noise, which almost made it sound like a play. Like where it was just kind of like the this kind of well the staging also is like a play like yeah, yeah. having the face uh, center the face with mm -hmm. some of the shots so you really see the expressions. How is and that like a play? Well, what play is zoom in? What what play have you seen? Okay, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm the rich white Austrian. I always sit in front I have row. I I'm in front row. Front row or balcony. balcony? Yes, I had some balconies. Front row balcony. <laughs> yes. I, <laughs> I'm so rich, I have You're a front row balcony. Oh, a blocks a view of like at least 200 people. I have, n and look, I know Vorarlberg is close to Switzerland, but yeah. you are not rich like Switzerland, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing okay. Yeah, that I'm making all that FFPU money. <laughs> Again, William Grant's Family Reserve Finest Scotch Whiskey, no one's established for 1887. That. <laughs> You know, you realize that just because you say the name of a brand, like I can't just say Beats by Dre and get money in my bank account. Um, you you would have to face for it. For, for Beats by Dre? Yeah. Like I look beaten. <laughs> oh like, no, I, I didn't go that way. Just like a douche. I wish. Be <laughs> Tell Dre to his face that he looks like a douche. <laughs> his beats too. They're horribly designed. I hate them. They're pretty standard looking. 
Yeah, they had an abomination. They look quite close to what you're wearing right now. Nigga, those <laughs> are Beats by Dre. <laughs> For reference. Um, we don't condone the use of the word of the N word. I have no problem with it. Yeah, uh, you don't have any problem with it, which is, which is actually great. <clears throat> Dad's black. I got this. Yeah. Uh, it's allowed. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. You are, uh, you are very well, fast. You don't say it. No, you don't. No, no, no. That's all word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did, condone me saying I did, it. I did an episode in Brooklyn with a black guy whose name was... <laughs> Nigga. No. <laughs> Pockets. 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 And his uh, sister was with him. You know, I want... Buckets. Buckets? Yeah. Like, I want to say... Like, hey, that's not really his name. But black person from Brooklyn yeah. might actually be his birth hipster. name. Like, that might, hipster that black might person. be on his birth certificate. Yeah. Filmmaker, hipster, yeah. black person. Pockets Anthony Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> pa- Pockets Graham, actually. Check out Pockets Graham on Facebook. He's a great stand-up comedian and a filmmaker. He has a mini series right out, out, out now. Call back from a few episodes. And if you can, if you Google him, find his Twitter, and just yeah, with uh, just send him a message like on on like not not a, not a DM, just like post to yes, his feed yes. and say pockets hashtag FFPU. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Do that, people. Do Three that. exclamation points. Yes. If 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 three people do that, I will do a special. Wow, spe- that was a low bar. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> there are YouTube videos. It's like, hey, if I get to 10,000 subs, I'll fucking post yeah. an extra video. If I get three people. <laughs> the, the problem is not with the viewership. It's with interaction. And that yeah. fucks with my algorithm. Because enough people watch it and listen to it. Well, mm-hmm. watch it. Listen to it. But not enough people respond. Oh, don't get me wrong. I can barely get that many people to come to a comedy show. So. <laughs> 4,000 people? I said, um, no, I'm still going to the three. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like how I made a self-deprecating <laughs> joke, and you were like, I'm going to swing my dick around? Uh, I guess I'm just going to, oh, can you get 4,000? I'm like, I can't get very many people. I can't get three people to come to a comedy show. Yeah. Oh, 4,000? Huh? Huh? Because I got 4,000 listeners, so I guess you could suck a dick, Reggie. No, no. <laughs> the thing is, though, this is my third podcast, so I have already built and transitioned over some of the viewership. I bet you've transitioned. <laughs> oh, Wow. Wow, that was a great. Yeah, I couldn't. Uh, my comeback, <laughs> my comeback is is stuck in in idle mode, I guess. You want to you want to shift back into gear and we can keep <laughs> yes, going with the yeah, podcast. Yes, <laughs> yes. So sound uh, serviceable. Serviceable sounds like I can give it a hand job. So no, <laughs> um, it was it was interesting. Hand like, crank only. Um, I would assume the music was quite contemporary at the time. Yes. Uh, though it didn't like if I had to look at it now, like it was. A, if you were making a piece now that was designed like this, and it was like kind of like, this was 2017, and you have this TV show that's coming out that is designed black and white, kind of this old school yeah. feel, but it has that, I would say that the way things look compared to the way it sounds, yeah. the, the two sounds don't really match up. Okay. Because like, it's like it's space agey stuff, mm-hmm. but with this like go go feel, mm-hmm. which doesn't really, it's not like a, a homogenous feel to it, but. Oh, this it show works. is far from being homogenous, except for the white, even white, have white, 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 So, <laughs> the only... what are you doing? <laughs> I'm grabbing something to drink. This is a drunk episode, after all. Says you. Yeah. I'm sober as a kite. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in the wind. What's up? I think you, you you understood what I said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you with them. No, it was just funnier to say what I said. <laughs> Gotta understand oh, humor. Humor. Man. Yeah, man. Oh, humor. All right, so the next one, I guess, is... Yeah. Um, this next moment? one... Is that what we're going to? <clears throat> huh? Are we going to the best moment? Yes. And that is going to be... Best moments. Is that how you do your transition for every section? You didn't listen to an episode, so you don't I didn't, know. I didn't. Did, you did, yeah. I so did you heard not. the editing. No, no. Didn't. <laughs> oh, fuck off! Fuck off! I was, I was planning on it, and then I, I was so fucking stressed. Yeah, no, it's so. fine. It's fine. But listen to this did, episode. But did you do that for score? Did you do the score? I, I'm doing a Paul stretch. Uh, I would have just gone with goal. 
<laughs> oh fuck you, man. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, this is horrible. How okay, much, how much do you didn't side, side note because yeah. you are editing? So, uh, how much do you generally edit it too? Like what? Uh, like, I edit out maybe two percent. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, I leave in leave in most of the stuff just because at least with us we have a good vibe going, and yeah. and this is this is hilarious. Hey, oh, by the way, let's let's go for a break. All right, guys, so this was a really long episode. Uh, Paul and I got really drunk and talked. We A lot of tangents, a lot of tangents, I guess, is the point. So what we're going to do is split it up into two. So we'll just stop right now, and I want to let you know what's going on with me because I'm a narcissist. Uh, clinically defined, don't worry. It's uh, I'm taking care of it. But my point is this. I'm a stand-up comedian in the city. I host uh, everything from Chuckles, Vienna Stand-Up Comedy Circuit. You can find that at facebook.com slash Vienna Chuckles. And if you want to look at me personally and support me and my narcissism, uh, you can just go to facebook.com slash The Original Barris. Give that a like. Give Chuckles a like. Stay informed, especially if you're in the city. And if you're not in the city, schedule a holiday. Come to the city. Watch some stand-up comedy. It'll be far funnier than tonight. Uh, tonight was really fun. It was really fun for me. But plan jokes even better. Because I'm... Amazing. All right, let's call it a night. Thanks. <laughs> Great. See you at part two.